Baseball tomorrow and Sunday. Greenville's hosting the 2016 USA Cycling Professional Criterium and Team Time Trial National Championships, otherwise known as the Bikeville Classic. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli is live in downtown Greenville. She's got the scoop for us this morning. Hey, Christine. Always got the scoop for you. Hey, Tracy, Laura, how's it going? We are here right in downtown Greenville. This is a one city plaza start and finish for some of the races for the Bikeville Classic. The ones happening in downtown Greenville, that is. Also a race happening on the Southern Connector, I-185. I well, I it's also going to be shut down Saturday morning at 8 a.m. for everyone to come out and ride. And whether you're a professional, maybe just an amateur, or it's just your family, you can come out and have a good time. This is also a great opportunity for everyone to learn a little bit more about racing and cyclists as they come professionals uh, talking with people and and showing off what they can do of course they're going to be racing we're here with Steve Baker this morning he's from notice uh, and you are one of the organizations bringing bikeville to Greenville what does it mean that it's coming here oh we're really happy to have it here uh, Greenville's a pretty big cycling community these days. We've yeah. got great terrain, great weather, that kind of thing. So we draw a lot of cyclists. Very good. Exciting too. Uh, do you find that a lot of people are really welcoming for this event here? Yeah, I think everybody's excited. I think this year with the course being up here towards the one plaza, uh, a lot of the downtown people are, are going to be uh, real happy to have all the crowd down here. Uh, I also know that the Southern Connector folks are really happy. We're bringing a lot of people down there to the Southern Connector. So tomorrow morning there'll be a lot of riders on the Southern Connector. Very good. Hey, this is year two that it's come to Greenville. Are the have the athletes given any feedback? Have they talked about the course, or do they like or uh, think Greenville's challenging at all? Well, uh, every cyclist that I've talked to in the in the pro and amateur ranks really likes Greenville. So it's a very inviting place. It's a very welcoming place. We have great facilities here, great restaurants, hotels, great people. So uh, a lot of cyclists love coming here. And the uh, organizing, uh, like the sanctioning body, USA Cycling, has always said that they love coming here. So, yeah, cycling is popular in Greenville. Very good. All right. So we're going to hang out here this morning in downtown Greenville. And coming up in just a little bit later, we're going to have some of the cyclists. Actually, they're going to join us out here, even the local pro team we're going to have. So nice. stay with us. But for now, live for downtown Greenville, Christine Scarpelli, 7 News. It looks like a great event. Can't yeah, wait for that. Thank you, Christine. Now, for more information yep. about the races and all the weekend's events, visit our website. We've got a link, WSPA.com. Also, Emily will have more on what road closures you can expect with this event in town. And here's Emily now, actually. Yeah, so I found all the big events that you need to know about this weekend. Christine's been giving us some good information about the Bikeville Classic, but drivers should also expect big traffic changes during the race. So the Southern Connector will be closed on Saturday from 4 a.m. until 5 p.m. And on Sunday, many roads are going to be blocked off in downtown Greenville. So for a list of those closures, I'll give you those online. But uh, if we can go to my map and we can check those out. Also, a lot of in downtown, a lot of roads in downtown Greenville. Main Street, North Street, and a lot of surrounding roads will be closed on Sunday, starting at 4 a.m. And they won't reopen until that evening at 7 p.m. Moving over to Spartanburg, the Hub City Hog Fest is this weekend. The barbecue contest that benefits Mobile Meals of Spartanburg starts today and lasts through tomorrow. Some roads will be blocked off near Morgan Square to make way for all the cooking teams. The event in its third year will include a barbecue competition complete with an award ceremony, food and drink, drinks from local vendors, and live music both tonight and Saturday night. Also happening today and tomorrow, the Pickens Azalea Festival. For 32 years, the community has kicked off Spring with the Arts and Entertainment Festival. Presented by the Pickens Azalea Festival Committee and hosted by area nonprofits, the event showcases all that Pickens has to offer. It features artists, entertainers, one of the largest cruises in the area, regional food favorites, history tours, and even a 5K race. Plus, there will be rides and crafts for kids as well. And I've posted all of this information for you at WSPA.com.